You know, there's been so much interest in craft beers and in local foods. We thought it'd be really fun, especially since the university is involved in hops, to hop right over to one of our local breweries and talk to co-founder Marcus Powers about just exactly what does it take to be a craft brewery and try to figure out how to use some local products. So Marcus, a local brewery, local products, local ingredients, how exactly did you get started doing this? So when we started it was really important to us to use a lot of local ingredients in our beer and one of the biggest surprises to us was the challenge in finding quality local ingredients that would work for beer. Um, one of the first things we thought about was grain and grain is really difficult because it has to be malted and malting facilities don't exist in Nebraska uh, and there's a lot of I guess different types of barley and wheat and oats and they have different growing regions and it was something we weren't experts in um, but kind of leaned on the local or you know agricultural sector to to bring those ingredients to us um, so one of the first things we found was uh, that we could have like rolled wheat and rolled oats and rolled rye just like you can buy in the grocery store in little packs um, we could buy them in bulk from a, a business in Marquette, Nebraska. And so that was our first foray into local ingredients. Um, and then we started looking at the hop market. And there were some new hop growers, um, but a lot of them were hobbyists and they didn't know exactly um, you know, what, it, what to do in terms of some of the minute perfections we needed in brewing um, to dry the hops at a specific level, to give us the testing, to know what the oil levels were that we needed. Just the stuff that a hobbyist doesn't really, you know, have the funds to get into. Um, and then it goes all the way down to packaging them in oxygen-free containers. And so hops was a little um, difficult for us to find locally at a quality. We needed to sell products to people that we felt like were of a high quality also. Marcus, talk about the backyard. I mean, backyard farmer and lifestyle gardening is about people in their own backyards. What is your connection to craft beer and your own backyard? I started my garage like a lot of brewers um, and, and I kind of got a little crazy and built a bigger and bigger system that was taking up more and more room in our, in our uh, well, both in our basement and our garage. And I decided I kind of wanted to figure out how to grow some of my own ingredients. So of course I ran a couple uh, ropes up the side of our house and uh, planted some hops. I planted a bunch of different raspberries and cherry bushes and um, we started to look at there's some weird styles of beer that actually don't use hops it's an old style called Gruet um, so I, I kind of got into this whole like I want to try to make as many ingredients happen in my backyard for my beer to save money and also just because it's fun to be able to grow something and then use it um, in that way uh, I figured out pretty quickly that I'm not a very good hop grower and so <laughs> I never had a lot of success with my own hops um, so I've been hoping that, uh, that we can find somebody who knows more about that in Nebraska than I do. One of the things about the tasting room is you don't serve food, and yet you have this intriguing relationship between the tasting room and your next door neighbor. Talk a little bit about that. So you know, the, we're sitting in our second location, um, and it's uh, called the Beer Hall, appropriately. We have these long German-style tables to bring people together. Um, and one thing we've really never got into was food, as you mentioned, just because food's not our expertise. Uh, we know how to make beer and, uh, and run a brewery, but not on terms of creating our own food and plates and um, the service that goes with that. Uh, so we were really lucky out here. Um, Art and Soul is our neighbor, and we were able to develop a relationship where we you know, helped create a small menu of items that kind of fit with a beer mentality. Um, it's fun to be able to have an opportunity to work with food and to be able to get um, people using local products involved, um, besides beer, into our business. Um, and whether that's, you know, through the pass-through window or whether we have, you know, a pop-up catering outfit come in and use some local ingredients, those are all great options for us. So on that note, we want to say thank you for letting us do this, and we really do look forward to local brews made with some local products, potentially. Thank you.